Welcome to Headlines from the End Times. Each day we see more and more signs that point to the soon return of Jesus Christ. Join us now as we seek to make sense of the nonsense and sound the alarm of the truth of Bible prophecy and current events. I'm James Collins reporting. Our first story comes from Davos, Switzerland, where Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum are calling for the end of private car ownership in the name of saving the world from climate change by reducing the need for green tech resources. According to the World Economic Forum, critical metals such as cobalt, lithium, and nickel, all of which are used in clean energy technologies, are in short supply. And while the World Economic Forum says recycling old tech that uses these metals could lessen the impact of the shortages, it's simply not enough. So, the World Economic Forum has come up with a solution. They say that everyone in the world should go from owning to using. Instead of owning a car, the World Economic Forum says you should take a bus or a rideshare. Klaus Schwab and his globalist World Economic Forum are the biggest pushers of the New World Order on this planet today, and they are also the biggest hypocrites. I tell you what, Mr. Schwab, I'll make a deal with you. I'll give up my car and take the bus as soon as you, Mr. Schwab, give up your limousine and gas-guzzling private jet aircraft. Give me a break. In other news, the Presbyterian Church of the United States of America, more commonly known as the PCUSA, recently announced their, quote, Queering the Bible Project, close quotes. According to a PCUSA spokesman, the inspiration for Queering the Bible came from a, quote, desire to go beyond rainbow flags and t-shirts to celebrate homosexuality and go deeper in our welcoming of queer folk." Close quotes. The PCUSA's Queering the Bible project kicked off with a LGBTQ 16-part study of the Gospel of Mark. This is absolute blasphemy. The Bible warns in the book of Revelation that if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book, unless those responsible for this blasphemous querying the Bible project repent and turn to Jesus Christ, they'll bust the gates of hell wide open. Our next story is an update to an ongoing story that we've been reporting on. Beginning in early May, vandalism attacks against churches, pro-life pregnancy centers, maternity homes, and other pro-life organizations have been reported across the United States. These attacks have taken the form of vulgar graffiti, property damage, threats, theft, physical violence, and even arson. As of today, there have been over 100 incidents of attacks against churches and pro-life organizations since the draft of the Supreme Court decision which overturned Roe v. Wade was leaked. Some of the reported attacks had some type of graffiti that said, quote, if abortions aren't safe, neither are you, close quote. A group of abortion activists identifying themselves as Jane's Revenge claimed responsibility for several of the attacks. Now, you know, if this had been the other way around, if a pro-life group was committing violence toward abortion clinics, the Biden administration would label them domestic terrorists and come down on them with the full force of the United States government. However, I won't hold my breath while waiting for Jane's revenge to be labeled domestic terrorist because I know it's not going to happen. Well, that will wrap up this edition of Headlines from the End Times. For my producer and editor, Marvin McIlvaney, and all the staff here at Prophecy in the News, this is James Collins leaving you with the words of the Apostle Paul, who said in Ephesians 5:15 and 16, 
See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil.